So we want to understand when it comes to hormone replacements, the different types of hormone replacement and exactly what they do and what they don't do. We have to look at the synthetic hormone replacement, which is what was used in the Women's Health Initiative study that was a nonprofit that funded this study. They had to stop the actual study because women were getting cancer and blood clots and strokes, and so they ended the study very early when women were getting very ill and so then they realized that synthetic hormones are not so healthy to take and, and, and they were taking certain hormones in combination, but they had it to such, such a great degree that women were, were getting sick from this. They had to stop the study. That's the end result. So then we have your bioidentical hormones, which there's a lot of hype about today, a lot of media hype today, a lot of celebrity hype about today. And we have to understand that bioidentical hormones are plant-based. However, plant-based phytochemicals are not similar to human um, chemicals or human hormones that are produced. Therefore, in order to get them to be similar or supposedly bioidentical. They have to actually change. They have to actually change the plant phytochemicals into, they have to compound them. And by compounding them, they turn them into a synthetic. So the result is the same as synthetic. Even though they start with plant-based hormones, Okay, by the fact, the mere fact that they are compounding them to make them more like human hormones, they are turning it into a synthetic. And so bioidentical hormones, um, you, a lot of people have written about this that are quite uh, remarkable because they've done a tremendous amount of study in this issue, just like I have. But it's not only from me, I'm not the only one saying this. You look at the FDA, you look at so many um, uh, luminaries have actually discussed this about bioidentical hormones being the same as synthetic. So we can't really trust that they're going to be any different because there's been no research showing that they're any different. There's been no timely research. In other words, they're new on the scene. This isn't like, you know, maybe after 10, 15 years, we're going to be able to see the rate of cancer, the rate of health issues related to the rate of health issues with synthetic hormones. The other kind of hormone replacement is just a phytoestrogen that you find or phytochemical or soy progesterone or wild jam progesterone coming from the health food store. You need to know it's in the health food store as a cosmetic. The FDA has not approved it to sell it as hormones in a health food store at the time of this video. Okay? It is in there as a cosmeceutical. That's how they can get away with it. It causes very accelerated um, levels of hormones when we do saliva testing. We can see hormones that are very toxic in the body not one time higher, two times higher, maybe 100 times higher, 500 times higher. So we see this with all hormone replacement, whether it's synthetic, biochemical, um, or biosimilar, or bioidentical. We see it with the phytoestrogens, that the hormone levels are extremely high. And on a saliva test, we have reference ranges where the hormones should be within a certain reference range if you're on hormones and a certain reference range if you're not. Even according to those reference ranges, we see people's hormones out the roof, 500 times normal, and the people are not feeling good.